Our last video having to do with compasses has to do with paces. And if I were walking in a certain bearing, somebody might tell me in an orienteering exercise that I need to go a certain number of paces at a certain direction. Now a pace is different than a step. A pace, and I'll come down to my feet. I have chosen maybe poorly today. I've got my dad shoes on here with socks. I got my my little sandals on with socks, which I know is not the coolest thing in the world. A step is one, two, three, four. Okay, that was four steps. A pace, if we're going to do that, we need to pick either our left or right foot to count with. And so if I start with my right, I'm going to use my left as the counter so that I can get a full pace. So you're going to count every time that certain foot comes down. So let's, I'm going to keep my left foot here as my counter for a pace. I'm going to try to walk at a natural pace. Of course, every, of course a, a natural rate, which is different in this case, use of the word pace. <laughs> but everyone's pace, of course, is slightly different. And so figuring out like how many paces you have in 100 meters can be very useful. If you set out a known distance and you walk that two or three times, you'll find out what the average number of paces is that take you to get to 100 meters. And then you can actually use your pace to measure distances pretty accurately as you're walking through a forest or grassland. So we're going to do paces. So start with right. One, two, three, four. Okay, four paces. And that's how to measure a pace.